Hello everyone, this is Ed the Audio Nut, also Radio Amateur Operator W8EDW. In my last video, I put together a mounting system for my screwdriver antenna so that I could mount it on a speaker stand. And then I also uh, designed some unique ideas for radials. And uh, so the next step is going to be being able to control the motor so that I can control the coil up and down in the screwdriver antenna. So I'm going to show you guys what I put together for that. So stand by. So here's the basic things we're going to need. Um, the first thing was a PVC box. It's a single gang box. I just picked it up at Home Depot. It's, a, it, uh, it's going to be our box for mounting everything. Uh, the next thing was a double pull, double throw switch. So um, this is what's going to control uh, the motor up and the motor down. And then I also have a momentary switch. This this is going to be uh, so that we can uh, bump it up or bump it down uh, easily without having to throw the toggle switch back and forth. Uh, the other components are like an Anderson power pole. We're going to need a couple of these. And um, me being an audio nut, I had to throw in a uh, speak on. And that's what I'm going to use. It's a multi-pin. And I'm going to use it for feeding the battery power into the box and also coming out of the box uh, going to the antenna with the wire right here. I found this wire on Amazon. It was uh, It's just two conductor wire about 30 feet of it and most of the stuff was cheap i mean this was like seven bucks and uh, the, the speaker or the um, switch was uh inexpensive as well it was seven or eight bucks and uh the momentary switch i think it was like five and speak ons uh very inexpensive as well so anyway the whole thing goes together for pretty cheap and uh, but it's fun building it yourself. You guys can use any kind of box you want, and of course, any kind of if you'd rather use another kind of a switch or whatever, you certainly can do that. Uh, but uh, anyway, I'm having fun putting this together. Uh, I'll show you how it's going to work. So, here's a wiring diagram that I made up uh, to kind of show how everything flows on this and how we reverse the uh, motor uh, back and forth. So um, these here are our switch posts. It's a, this is our double pull, double throw switch here. The battery down here, input, and then I even showed the momentary switch here. But uh, basically this is how you, you'd want to wire it. We have a wire running from this post here to this one, and then from this post down to this one. And uh, I'll show you how that works in switching it. So let's take a look at how this motor control is going to work. Uh, we'll start it down here at the battery. And uh, on the plus side here, we're going to go through the momentary. And go up to the center post. And then in this position that we have the double pull, double throw switch in, it's connecting these two center posts to these two outer posts. So if we continue and follow our plus voltage, it's coming up hitting the plus side of the motor uh, and then going through, coming down to this post here and it's connected from here to here. So we're going to there and then around and down to the negative side of the battery. If we follow the post down to this post in this position, there's nothing connected to it. So the bullet doesn't go anywhere. It has to go down to this one and then back to the negative side of the battery. Um, so the motor is going in this direction, in this position. So let's look at another example of the opposite. So now we've switched the switch to the other side and it's connecting the inner posts here to these outer posts. So let's follow it on the battery again. Here's the plus. We're going along this wire here up to the center post. It's connected to this post here and now it goes up to this post and this post is connected to the to the motor and now the plus side is on this side of the battery causing it to go in the other direction so then we follow the negative it comes down here down to this post here 
up to that one and then back to the negative side of the battery. So you can see when you throw these in opposite directions, it makes the battery or makes the motor go in one direction or the other. So that's how that works. And uh, now we just need to mount the, the components and uh, get this thing going. So I got the holes uh, drilled in the box and uh, tested everything to make sure it was gonna fit. Uh, this takes about a half inch hole for this switch here. And uh, this one's a little bit over half inch. It's more like 9 sixteenths. So I had to ream it out a little bit for the uh, momentary switch. And then um, where I'm gonna mount my speak on is in the end here and I had to ream that out. That's about an inch. And this fits, you know, in there like that. And that's going to be our main connection coming into the box. So um, I'll go ahead and get this stuff mounted. And then what I'll do is uh, start wiring it up. I uh, pre-wired the speak on connector and uh, color coded it. Uh, one plus is the red. One minus is the black, two plus is yellow, and then two minus is the blue. The um, the red and the black are what's going to bring the power in from the battery, and then the red or the uh, blue and the yellow are the ones that are going to be going out to the antenna motor. So I got everything mounted on the box and wired up, and. Uh, up here is where the speak on is, and that's where our main wires are coming in. You can see the red wire here is the one is going to be coming from the positive of the battery. And the first thing it hits is the momentary switch. And uh, then from the other side of the momentary switch, uh, the red wire uh, goes up right here and mounts to the center post of the uh, switch. Then the other side of the center post of the switch is a black wire. It's this one here. And that one's the one that's going to be running back to the negative side on the battery. The um, You'll notice that on the switch, I did the crisscross thing where the outside post crisscross. Or here's this red wire here is connecting to the outside post over there. And then connects to the uh, outside post on this side. The uh, black wire um, on the outside post here run, runs over and connects to the outside post on the other side. Now, also on these two outside posts, uh, the blue and the, and the yellow wires are the ones that are going to be running out to the antenna, um, to the motor on the antenna. So those are also mounted on those two outside posts there. But uh, that's basically it. If you look at the uh, schematic that I showed you earlier, um, that's the wiring setup on it. So um, we're ready to close up the box and do some testing on it. Uh, also, we have to wire up our cord that's going to supply the uh, DC from the uh, to-go box. And, uh, and then also the wire that's running out to the antenna to control the motor. So I'll uh, get, get the box closed up and uh, then we'll start wiring the, uh, the wire that's going to be used to run to the antenna. So here's our box put together. I think it turned out nice. The um, speak on connector on the end. And then of course uh, our red button uh, momentary, which looks kind of cool. So... Um, we just need to work on now the uh, connector that's going to go into this to uh, carry the power in from the battery and then also take the wire out to the motor on the antenna. So uh, I'll show you how we're going to wire that up and uh, be right back. So some of you guys might not be uh, familiar with the speak on connector. Uh, in audio, we use them a lot to hook up speakers uh, to power amps and whatnot. And uh, this particular one has four connections on it. It has what they call one plus, one minus, and two plus, two minus, uh, four posts in here. 
and uh, it just it just goes into the box uh, like this. It it pushes in like that, and then it snaps into place. So it gives you a nice firm connection, and so forth. And then you just pull back on the metal part here when you disconnect it. So anyway, we're gonna get inside this this connector and wire it up. I'll show you how to do that, and I'll be right back. So here's the Speakon connector. It's called the NL4FC is the model number on it, and it's uh, made by Neutrik. Basically, it has four posts in there, and uh, the way they label them is uh, one plus, one minus, and two plus, two minus. And uh, they're easy to hook up. They just have uh, screwdriver connections on them, so it makes it kind of easy. The... Uh, Strain relief looks like this, and as you tighten down the back part, it tightens that down on your wire. So there's the back part that screws on. So basically those three things are what makes up the connector that we're going to be using. And uh, I'll show you how I'm going to wire that up. I'm going to use one plus, one minus uh, for our power coming from the battery. And then I'm going to use two plus, two minus uh, for the wire that's going to be running out to the antenna. So um, I'll show you how to do that, and I'll be right back. So I wired up the Speakon connector, and uh, one plus, one minus, and two plus, two minus. And then the two wires are coming out through the strain relief here, and then also uh, to the uh, back part. So uh, there's a short wire here that I'm going to use for the battery connection, and then the longer wire is this guy here It's running over to this coil of wire that's going to go out to the antenna. So basically two wires coming out of the back of that and one of them going to the battery, one one going to the antenna. So I'm going to finish that up and uh, then we have to put on our, our uh, Anderson power poles. So the box is complete and uh, I went ahead and put the power poles on the end of the whip here that's going to be going to the battery. And then I put a power pole on the other end, uh, the long wire that's going to go out to the antenna. And of course, the antenna has a power pole input. So um, I think we're about ready to uh, do some testing here to see if this thing works. So uh, I'll be right back. So I was going to uh, show you guys what model numbers and stuff I used uh, of the components and uh, see if I can get this thing to focus. This is the uh, actual uh, Speakon connector that goes on the cord. That's the model number on it. And then um, this is the one that goes on the panel or it goes in the box. And uh, let me focus that for you. That's for uh, the one that actually goes in the box, the Neutrik connector. Um, and then this is uh, the double pull, double throw switch that I got. All this stuff I got on on Amazon. So that's the heavy duty double pull, double throw switch. And uh, this is the momentary uh, push button. And they come in different colors. You can get them in red, you can get them in green, blue, whatever. But um, that's the... Uh, model and so forth on Amazon for that. And then I even got uh, kind of a package of wire from them. And this is the model number on it. Doesn't really want to come and focus too good. Sorry about that. That's it right there. And uh, it's about 30 foot of, of two conductor wire. So anyway, that's the uh, model numbers and stuff. If you you know, you can substitute whatever you want, but uh, that's just the particular stuff that I used. So anyway, uh, there it is. Okay, guys, so here's the moment of truth. And uh, so we'll switch it to the up position and push the red button. Hey, so it's going up as we speak. And then we'll switch to the bottom and uh, that would be the down, and there it goes, coming on down. They're pretty happy with this. And uh, the kind of cool thing about it is we, you know, we can disconnect it here, and then we can wind the wire up and have it in its own uh, 
container and so forth and the the box is easily ported uh doesn't have wires hanging out of it so it's gonna work out pretty cool i'm uh pretty pleased with it thanks for watching guys and uh please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up if you like this video and uh we'll catch you next time thanks Thank you.